we're back with yet another video bro and this may not be the video i want to start off or how i want to start off this video but it's getting late your boy's mind like if i don't know an answer i can't fucking stop thinking about it so my boy wj shout out wj he texts me saying where's your car at big cuh my boy lives right down the road from it so if anything has changed out of the unordinary somebody's gonna pass it bro my whole zl1 is a whole billboard for me pretty much right now. So if y'all are new to the channel and y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm Bailey Wise, I wrecked my ZL1 and I'm in the process of rebuilding my Z. Now, I don't think my boy Tony would do that to me, but my mind be rushing, my mind be running and the Z's my baby. And I'm about to have to go down the road and check to see if it's there. It's currently 11.17 cause time is forward. That's not the actual real time. Your boy just has not changed it. so. I'm about to hop in the Ranger and this shit may not even, this shit might get deleted. It may not be in a video because I could be tripping and bro may just not know where my car was at. I don't know. So I'm about to have to go check on that shit. Now, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt here, but bro, I just don't know. Like I'm pretty positive my boy would update me if my car was gonna get moved because that's what he said. And he said he wouldn't be driving it anywhere. And if he was, I'm sure he'd be telling me. And if it was stolen, I'm sure he would tell me. Now, I don't want to say, like, my car's stolen and he don't know. Or my boy stole my car because I don't know. And my boy could have been just texting me and not knowing what he was talking about. But I don't know who texts somebody about a sensitive subject. And then says... And then just doesn't reply. Like, where's your car, bro? It's not where it was. Bam, I don't know. But I'm on the way. I'm currently a couple minutes out quick little hour trip we got work in the morning so I'm hoping this isn't gonna be a part of a video I'm hoping this is just me tripping and I just need to be outside or there's something I got to do that I don't know like I'm hoping I'm just going for a round trip to kill some time here and my car's not actually stolen for real my car oh it got moved to the back chat all right bro See, them boys are tripping me out, bro. WJ, bro, don't do that shit. I knew I was probably tripping, but I had to come check. I don't know if maybe my car's back on, if it had a bumper, if the wheels were on that. I can't tell if it's got wheels or not, boys. But the Z is still alive. It's there, not stolen. Thank you, bro. WJ, you're a whore for that, though. Fuck, bro, I got work in the morning. It's midnight. I'm probably gonna leave that in there because that's just the type of shit of who I am as a person. So y'all gonna see the full dealio. But I'm gonna pick up with y'all once I get more news, man. Still trying to figure out when the car is coming back. Hopefully the parts are just having to get painted and maybe that'll be it. Still trying to wait to figure out about land because, yeah, my bro did say that I can get an acre. And y'all know that I am trying to actively build. And that's what I have been doing. But God's all on timing. God's got us planned out and he's gonna take care of us when the time is right and everything will fall into line when the line is time to be crossed. But for now, bro, I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys in the next one. Cause I just look fucking goofy, bro. See y'all boys in the next day. Brothers, quick little update, bro. Rode the Ron Reezy today. And I gotta take a shower. I looped. So I'm about to show y'all boys my skin and my back, bro. It really wasn't a bad one. Your boy flew off in the Suron. If you haven't watched that video, y'all go check it out, bro. But I'm gonna show y'all boys the update. Haven't looped in a while. So I guess it was well needed. I don't know. My brakes did go out, but it's a little light, light fucking, you know what I'm saying? Just got the latitory, it's a little lower back. Then we got the casual damage, nothing too bad. Light, light shit right there. It's that time of year, boys. I've got fire inspections tomorrow, and this time last year was like around the time when I was moving into it, so I didn't even have these bikes really at the time. I just had the Suron, so it wasn't that big of an issue. Now I got the 250 and the Suron, so I gotta get the 250 out of here because I don't think I'll pass fire inspections with a gas motor in here. Could be wrong. You know, I think they see me push them in and out, but I just, out of sight, out of mind. I don't look at them, they don't look at me. It's kind of like the bot rule, bro. It's like, 
you don't pay attention to them, don't make eye contact with them, they don't mess with you. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, take the 250 up to work so it's not even here. I'm gonna leave the Suron actually this time in the living room where I usually keep all my bikes. And just to see, I'm gonna test the water, see if they say anything, see if I get kicked out. Because if I do get kicked out, like something just told me to leave the Suron in here. And if they trip about the Suron or say that, like, hey bro, you can't have that or you gotta get, a, you're gonna like get evicted or some ish, then um, it's gonna be God's plan. And that's gonna be like my motivation to get up out of the apartment, get a crib, start building, do all this ordeal. And maybe we'll rush the process of my building. Hey, use your brain, put yourself in situations you know might not work just to see if it'll speed up a process of something else. Enough yapping though, get up to work. I'm gonna push these up to work. Well, just the 250, not gonna show y'all boys that, but then I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna be meeting up with CJ and yeah. So I don't know, maybe I'll hear something about my car. Z01 is still there. My boy WJ texted me back today saying I was just moved. So I'm guessing maybe the wheels back on, the control arm might, must, it's gotta be back if my wheels are on to make the car move. I don't think my boy Tony just strong armed it. So that should be good. I'm waiting to hear from bro, hopefully this week. Hopefully this week, bro, is gonna be the Z reveal. I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm ready for that car. Um, also, I tried to, you know what I'm saying, trade it in, because I was like, fuck, this thing type got rawed by me. Like, I rawed my car. And y'all boys know, like, I wanna be the first thing to touch everything. So I hit a place up trying to trade it in for a track hawk, but they want me to drive my ass three hours up there to give me an appraisal. And I'm not about to drive like six hours in total just to get up there and them not give me something that the car is worth. So, I don't know, God's got plans. I might keep the Z for a little bit. Let me know down below if I should keep the Z and get rid of it. I don't know, I got plans for the Z. I don't wanna get rid of it, it's my dream car. I wanna keep working with it, but YouTube wise, unfortunately, I gotta I got grow. And maybe there's a way where I'll be able to have both soon. Move Shorty up here, get her one. I don't know, we're gonna figure it all out. Cause everything is just an idea and I got ideas. It's just making them happen. So. We're gonna work on that. Let me get these bikes out of here and I'm gonna pick up with y'all boys once I know something else. What's going on with y'all boys, man? It's your boy, Bailey. We back into the next day. I've been jumping all around, but we're at work. I got a S6 filth in the tent bay, bro. We're about to be tending a 2024 Mustang S650. I've tended a couple of these, but honestly I've been lacking and I've been switching up my type of videos. So I've just been taking y'all boys along and I figured y'all boys might want to see this because I know some of y'all be Mustang fanboys in the chat. And these cool, and these cars are like pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really hate on no shit. Everybody's car is cool. Every car is cool. I don't really get into all that like Ford, Chevy, Dodge bullshit. Like it's just a car. I'm not about to die by it. So I'm gonna show love to the S650. Y'all let me know down below what y'all think of this thing. I'm gonna show y'all what is pretty cool though. Like to be fair, the look, so we got the key right here, 2024 Mustang. What is dope as hell on these is the headlights. They got like Bugatti headlights. Some shits are crazy, crazy. Not going to lie. And another thing, I do like this paint color because not a lot of cars got like some five paint like this. Chevy, eh, they got that Krypton green, but like Mustang came at it with the colors, the combos, and like look at the brake calipers, bro. Brake calipers are crazy. I've never seen a factory ride height on like any Ford, any Mustang, any Dodge, anything. Like, I don't even know. Like Ferraris, Lambos, they don't even come with like this good of fitment. Like stock fitment, I'm pretty sure. I could be lying. But if this is stock fitment, bro, this shit is crazy. Then we come to the back. Come take a look at the back. I think honestly, personally, this is probably like one of the best parts. They did kill this shit on this car. I don't know. Something about the taillights. Let me show y'all boys like what it's looking like when it's on though. See, I don't know. I just like how everything's integrated. Everything like flashes and blinks and moves when the blinkers are on. Y'all know what I'm saying? The wing, stupid aggressive. Bro, they killed this shit out of these 5.0s. Not gonna lie. And this isn't even like a 2024 GT500. Wait till that shit comes out and like, these are carbon fiber and the wheels are carbon fiber and bucket seats on the inside. Come take a look on the inside. What you need, brothers? Come take a look, brothers. So we are gonna be able to get these in the fucking six speed. So. If y'all boys do like six speed like your boy, obviously they're gonna be slower, but the shits are more fun to drive. And y'all cannot tell me I'm lying. I'm gonna give y'all a cold start at the end, but I've been working hella on my phone, so I've started and stopped this car like so many times. But you cannot beat the loading interface. You can't beat the radio in this car. Like, come take a look, bro. What car is coming with a full, you know what I'm saying, besides like an Escalade V? Or I don't even know, do the Escalades, are, are those the only ones with like fat ass? Like radios and shit. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below. 
I haven't been in all those crazy shits. So there's been like hella Escalade Vs. Like we have more Escalade Vs around where I'm at than Trackhawks, anything crazy. What y'all boys got on y'all's face? Got a little bit of discoloration or some shit? What? I don't even know. But yeah, man. That's the radio. Shit is fucking crazy. The steering wheel, flat bottom, nice flat bottom. Carbon fiber, kind of fake shit on here. It's spacious, it looks good. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this S650 down below. But I'm about to start tinting it. We're about to do 5% all the way around. 35 on the windshield, so it's gonna be a nice little Stevie Wonder type of deal. Um, I'll pick up with y'all boys. I'm gonna tint the process. Y'all know I've been keeping y'all boys up with everything. We got the plotter. Cut it out in 5%. You can see two windows, corner windows, and we're gonna be doing the back window in a little bit. But yeah, man, this is what I do for work. For all the people that are new to the channel, I do tint windows. So that's how I afford these cars. That's what I've done straight out of high school. That's how I afford this channel. I get, I'm starting to get like DMs. People see me in person, people hit me up and they're like, how do you afford all this shit? How do you afford bikes? How do you afford all that? Well, for like the longest time, bro, I know this is like a random yap session, but from like the time I got out of high school, so like 18, 19-ish to March of last year, I um, was living at home, living with other people, stacked my bread so I had nothing but car payments for the longest, didn't have anywhere didn't have to pay rent all that shit so got to save a lot of bread then finally i moved into a crib spent a lot of that shit got dirt bikes finally like when you move out you can kind of be yourself you're not in the way of everything so i always wanted dirt bikes always want to learn how to wheelie just never had my personal space and all that so kind of didn't wasn't able to have that shit but now i got the bikes i got the cars i got my shit got the computers i can stream i can vlog i can do all the things that we got to do so if y'all boys are like at home and you're like, damn, my parents, I can't record. I can't get this shit because I live at home. Booty, 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 whatever. You know, your time's going to come, bro. God's got you. Just stay down. Keep working. Grind. Save your bread. Eventually, there's going to be a day where you can express yourself, be yourself. And don't forget that, bro. If life is hard right now, it's not going to be forever. Eventually, you'll get freedom. Eventually, like, you'll just do what you do and people are, will accept you for you. But yeah, enough yapping. I'm going to get to cutting out these cars, get into tinting this whip. And yeah, man, I'm gonna see y'all boys in the cinematic. I've got half of this big boy done. You know what I'm saying? Here's a look at the 5% compared to the no tent. Y'all gotta know, y'all gotta let me know. You gotta let me know down below if you're rocking with the tent. If you're not, you a hoe. Come see Bailey Wise if you need that smack. If you want that smack, I'll give you that. Mustang 5% with the 35 windshield pack smoking on all them scats. You know what I'm saying? I might quit my job. I might go rap. I might run up it up. I might run it up. I came from Lake Carolina. It's not the trap. I really growed up good. Single mother though. She really remind me that to stay away from these hoes. She said get down low. She said go below. She said get down low because you're going to have to go to the top. I remember riding in a Maybach getting some top. I I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was going in. But yeah, hey man, say man. Quan, what you doing? Quan, if you watching, drop down below, let me know, or tag Quan in the comments, cause yeah, bro, I don't know. I don't know. Let me tint that Urus. <laughs> let me tint the Urus, man. You can see what I can do, 2024. I know it may not be the valuable. It may not be valuable, but I tint my own car. I tint my own car, you know. The most expensive car? I saw the Porsche. 110, 114, 115, 120. Really like 115K, but yeah. Hey man. Say man, Quando, Rondo, got your hoe in the back seat. I don't even know, bro. I'm, I'm doing too much, but yeah. Here's half the whip, 5%. Y'all can see on the outside. I'm going to show y'all a little tutorial, DIY. DIY if you got a 2024. Watch this video. I'm going to show you how to tint that tank. But yeah, she look good. Let's get to the other side. Enough yappy yappy. If there's anybody telling this, you can't do it. Sleep mattresses to our white. I don't know when I 
on ones, bitch, I got a team with it. No joke, fuck a fun, pill pop, fuck a blunt. Set the middle, push up. Just got a doo doo ass ad right now, hold on. Hell if I know. Now, this might be like the worst part about this. Hey, that was kind of smooth though, not gonna lie. Also, I think like the last five videos I've been wearing these pants. That's on me. All we got is this little corner window now, bro. But I hope y'all boys are rocking with a different style of video. Since I haven't had the Z01, I've been uh, having to just do what I can. But like I said, bro, I'm never going to stop, never going to give up. And I expect y'all to do the same. When life gets tough, sometimes it's for a better reason. Like, I probably wouldn't be recording this ish right now if I didn't wreck my Z and the videos I've been making since I've wrecked my Z. I've been a lot, like, have had to, like, improvise, do a lot different styles of content, and my channel's been growing, bro. So, you know, good things come out of bad things sometimes. It's just as long as you keep that positive mindset and you keep grinding through tough times, you're going to get through it, bro, with anything. And if you are watching right now, bro, yes, I do work a normal 9 to 5, just like 90% of the world. So if y'all boys are trying to... You know, do YouTube like your boy. Look, I'm recording at work. Do what you can. Vlog where you can. Vlog at school. I don't know. Vlog at work. Do everything. Show the people what you love. You know what I'm saying? There's no way, like, two creators are going to blow up and have equal results. Like, the first one to do it, first one to be themselves. That might be, like, what's wrong with y'all's channels. Have y'all ever stepped back, took a look? Even like look at my channel, my shits have changed so much because like I'll catch myself watching people talking, acting like them, trying to get my videos like them. But then like I'd always forget the cool thing about being on the camera and recording yourself is you got to be yourself, bro. People are there for you, yourself, not you trying to copy other people. Be yourself, do some cool shit, you know what I'm saying? Throw in the trends when you got to, but really just be yourself. Now I got this back window. This is probably like the worst part of these cars. Fucking hate these things. Not gonna lie, the plastic trims like down the side right here at the very bottom corners, always fucking super tight and I can never get the film in there. So I'm gonna try not to crease it, getting it in. Cause this one looks like it's gonna try to be a bitch too. So we're gonna do that and then we got the windshield and then we've got like a couple more cars. Then we're gonna be out of here for the day. Damn ads, bro. Talk to him nice, baby. Talk to him nice. You're a twin? Got him on the job with it. Go straight to twin when he's behind the camera. Say, what y'all know about this new name? Tell him, baby. He blacked it out. What they know about the new man? Man. Tell them what's popping with it. Give some motivational words like you always do me, so now you're on the spot. I've already been talking. I don't care. Before. Give me something. It can be a different clip for a different video. Give me some motivation. Show me something. 5%, 10. <laughs> Can't see behind it because you're a big booty bitch in it. That's not motivation. Shaking ass in the back seat. <laughs> Thought it was a sprinter. No Mercedes Benz. This ain't no rental. <laughs> oh, a little five percent all the way around. A little. Well, we got about forty on the windshield. Thirty-five. On got the big windshield. talent in the cut. Thirty-five on the windshield. Thirty-five on the shield. Definitely getting pulled over in North Carolina. This thing kind of clean though. No cow. <laughs> I'm 
boy giving it a little bit of rub. Yeah, sir, we got Jack behind the tee. Y'all let us know how did the Mustang turn out? 35 on the windshield and 5 on the sides. Y'all boys can see that bitch gets pretty dark. It don't look bad, bro. Let me know. Y'all copping the S650 or not? Y'all let me know down below as well. You fucking dirty dick dogs, brothers. We have a package in. A package y'all been waiting. You're probably like, bro, you haven't dropped clothes in like six months. Well, you fucks. I now, you know, I had to sit back, think about life, think about what's gonna sell, think about better ideas. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drop three hoodies in one day. So link down below. You can drop and cop all the new hoodies and all the tees. If you want anything, I'll be dropping stuff more frequently. I know I kinda, kinda sold the bag the last couple months not making anything, but your boy made a couple things previously and didn't sell any, so I got my feelings hurt. But it's cool, you know, it's life. We're about to get a live reaction, because if these hoodies are ass, I'm not gonna tell y'all to buy these, because they're gonna be ass. And um, if they are ass, it's probably because I'm tired of like, the couple few options that I actually get when I order hoodies, the like placement, I only get to fuck with like a little box. If y'all make clothing, y'all probably know. So if y'all do make clothing and you know where to get like, cooler cuts of clothes, because these are all standard, kind of cut to fuck with everybody's style. You know what I'm saying? Pretty simple, basic, straightforward stuff. I'm trying to get more customizable, you know, around and be able to put it on the hoodie. So if that is something you're able to do, hit me up because bro, I'm tired of just a couple options. But as you can see, as we open it up, let's see what they looking like packaged in. If y'all want a hoodie, just let me know as well and I can order some. I got one new pullover. We got one hoodie. And we got another hoodie. These are all print on demand, so these do print and ship from the manufacturer. So if you do cop them, they will come in something like this. I am working on trying to find somebody that is able to make some more customizable stuff, but this is cool, good quality stuff right here for what I'm able to do. It's quick, simple, they ship it out. I don't gotta do any inventory, so shout out to the people as well for all that. They do everything for me. It's kind of why I've been rocking with them. So first we're gonna open what we got right here. We got the Jesus piece one. You know, this shit is kind of hard. I didn't know how I would feel about this, how it was going to look, because sometimes they do hope, and like, if it's not a high quality picture, it won't be a high quality print. But it looks like this was the one, this is the one I'm honestly genuinely worried about the most. But I want a different color, different style, never drop no shit like this. And honestly, it looks better than I fucking thought, Jeff. So as you can see, bro, we got a Jesus piece chain on a hoodie. Never dropped a color hoodie like this, but you can see it's a, Fucking nice. I shouldn't be cursing with my Jesus piece hoodie, but bro, it's by, as you can see, Jesus in the middle. There's a certain name for that, but honestly, I just can't remember for some reason. It should be able to tell me somewhere on here. Uh, I lied. Maybe it's not. On the website, the name is right. Your boy just can't think of it off the dome. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Y'all can see BBS fucking diamond chain hoodie. This is $50 on my website. Ship to your crib. Maybe like 55 bucks, 56 bucks with shipping. I don't know. But shit's fire. Also, we're gonna go on the inside, check the tag. Or maybe I didn't go tag on this one. I guess I didn't go tag on this one. This one does not have a tag. I thought maybe it did, but it don't. I lied to y'all boys. Maybe it's something to do with the color of print. I don't know. Your boy be doing stuff for certain reasons sometimes. Sometimes like if the, the colors are like not contrasting right, they won't let me do it. So to not run into shipping problems, I just sometimes don't put them on there just so I don't run into certain options or certain problems. Like this one right here, you can see I got my actual sizing chart and all that on the inside. Next, we got this one. This is a pullover, my first pullover I've ever dropped. This is something I'm most excited for. It's clean, it's simple, and I think people are gonna rock with it. On the front, it says, meet God halfway, a nice embroidery. As you can see, meet God halfway. Just plain Jane, you know what I'm saying? And then on the back, we got God's child and a person praying. Just some light little steez. Nice little shout out to God, you know what I'm saying? Because he is always there for the people that aren't. If you feel like you're alone, God's always there. and God's always going to be rocking with you. And on the left sleeve, we got a little God right there embroidered with a couple stars. This shit might be my favorite shit I've ever dropped, bro. This was pretty much like a, a little drop all about God and trying to mix it with a little bit of fashion. I've never dropped nothing like this, so I'm excited to wear these. Honestly, these turned out way better than I thought they were gonna. 
I'm probably gonna be selling out a lot of these shits, bro, because ever since I dropped these, I went from getting like no profile visits a month to I think like 70 in one day, bro. So honestly, if y'all are trying to drop clothes, brother, just keep working on it. You're not gonna probably do something crazy your first time. If you do something crazy your first time, bro, then you're lucky you got something, or maybe that's what you were born to do is like drop clothes. But your boy, I'm trying to learn as I go, I'm trying to come up with ideas and make ideas, write them down, see ideas, flip them into my own idea. So on this one, this is probably gonna be like another hoodie. I'm blown away, honestly, so far. So we got an all black and we got just God on the front with the same logo that y'all saw on the left sleeve. A nice little casual God with the three stars. It's steezy, I'm not gonna lie. And on the right sleeve, we are gonna go the stars and money signs. You know what I'm saying, down the right sleeve. Just a little something, something light. And then on the back, we got God loves motion and three stars kind of placed on the back. Y'all can see that, God loves motion. You know what I'm saying? So this was kind of like a drop I did just for kind of God. It's cool, it's different. My first actual kind of something not about anything about me, car wise, brand related. Just kind of wanted to do something that made me happy. Kind of try something else, see uh, what works what the people like, build as I go, go as I go. You know what I'm saying? Let me know down below if y'all are gonna cop any of these. If you wanna cop one, drop down below. Actually, yeah, bro, drop down below right now your size, and I'm gonna pick one person from the comment section that does drop their size, and DM me a screenshot on Instagram, at wheelie underscore wise, a screenshot of you commenting on the post, and screenshot that, confirm it, send it to me on a DM on Instagram, and I'll ship one of you fuckers a hoodie or maybe one item off of my website that y'all boys like and I'm gonna get with y'all bro so yeah these shits are hard bro I'm not gonna lie I'm definitely about to throw one of these joints on boys I don't know how many days it's been. I've kind of had this video probably over the last 20, maybe over the last like couple weeks or so. I haven't really been able to post or make as much content. I haven't had much shit going on besides editing videos, work, normal nine to five-ish, and then waiting for the Z to come back. You know, I've been waiting for the Z to come back now for probably about a month and I haven't done any car activities because I haven't had a car to go to car shows and none of the homies have been popping out so I haven't like went to any car things to record, you know what I'm saying? So I've really been in the crib working. Um, I appreciate all y'all boys. If y'all do know, I did drop some hoodies. Let me show y'all this one right here. They all finally came in. I don't remember if I updated y'all. I'm pretty sure I did, but here's the pullover. Then we got a little simple simple on the back and then this one right here is probably the people's favorite got the jesus on the front i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling like i don't know if blue and brown go together let me show you this one though then we got the god loves motion hoodie god on the front and this one i'm wearing brown sweatpants right now so I don't know if it will go together it might let's get a fit check fit check fit check is that looking like it's going maybe slight light I don't know I might wear it I might but I haven't had much going on I'm editing the video right now as y'all saw I'm currently uploading making a thumbnail and doing all that before I meet up with some of the homies and uh shoot some pool I haven't had a lot going on besides chill back times but Sometimes it's good to chill back, do things you enjoy. Um, you know, no, no matter what you do in life, you can always get a little tired and need a little bit of time away from it. So, you know, I feel like I get caught up all the time trying to keep myself busy and go, 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 because I get worried that maybe I'm not going to be where I want to be by the time I want it, because as many people, y'all boys are probably like me and y'all want the results start today, get them now, you know what I'm saying? And that's for a lot of us, but unfortunately, sometimes that's works and sometimes it doesn't. And for the 99% of the people, 
it's not going to be that easy, you know what I mean? So you got to keep working, keep doing it, and then eventually you'll have that one night where you just wake up and all that hard work finally pays off, and that's when you're going to know it's finally your time, and that's when people think it came overnight, and that's why people think it came overnight, because they see the one video that maybe finally put them on the map to finally do and be who they wanted to be, but through these times, like right now, I don't have my ZL1, bro. And y'all know this is kind of like what started my channel. I think my boy Jacob's here. Coming to him. Y'all boys are about to see that boy Jacob. He's actually in the video that I made just a little bit ago. He's about to play some 5M. What's up, brother? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> a little fit rundown. I'm liking it. 13 20 mix with the little snake skin. Always gotta rip that. How you feeling today? Hey. That boy coming to play 5M. I'm almost finished editing this video. But y'all can see that boy's actually the thumbnail too. Y'all can see, y'all can see right here, a little behind the scenes, working on the video. That boy Jacob's the thumbnail. <laughs> This video should be out by the time y'all see this. It'll probably be like three months because y'all know my shit's always stay behind. But I'm going to get back to y'all boys in just a little minute. Yeah, shit.